So Adam Benini was not at lunch, and that's because he's getting ready for throwback night at Key Bank Center. They've had 80s night so far, 90s night, and tonight it's a throwback to the mid 2000s. Now that was about the same time that Justin Timberlake was bringing sexy back. I don't know what Benini was bringing back back then, but I do know he's here right now. And Adam, the Sabres are bringing back some of their greatest hits and biggest stars tonight as well. Yeah, I'm no Timberlake, I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay, absolutely not. But yeah, you know, tonight, <laughs> tonight, tonight's a special night for a lot of fans because this takes them back to the last time when this franchise uh, was truly competitive. And we're talking about the 2000s. We're talking about Tom Golisano. And that ownership group is going to be honored in a pregame ceremony uh, here tonight. Remember, Tom Golisano was the one who bought this team out of bankruptcy and essentially uh, saved the franchise, kept it in Buffalo and stabilized it before the Bagulas went on to uh, buy it uh, from him as manage managing partner Larry Quinn uh, as well. And so it was a special era, a lot of success on the ice. Uh, Golisano had the reputation of being tight with the purse strings, but he did do a lot to stabilize this franchise and a lot to look back on for fans here in this game with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Kate? Yeah, good times then. Safe to say that those teams were everything that this team now is not. 100% true. I mean, from a competitive standpoint, as I said, this was the last time this franchise was truly from a championship standard. You're talking from 05 to 07, back-to-back -back trips to the conference finals. Uh, Darcy Regeer, the GM at the time, coming out of the lockout, he got the mix right in terms of the lineup. At that time, the league was cracking down on interference. They were trying to open up the game, and the Sabres were quick back then. They were tough as well. They had leadership. They had character. Of course, Daniel Briere, Chris Drury were the centerpieces of that. Tim Conley, who struggled with concussions uh, when he was at his peak, was perhaps the best forward on the ice. Jason Pominville, Paul Gostad, among others, and a whole bunch of alumni. Uh, including uh, Briere and Conley uh, expected to be here tonight. In fact, we'll be talking to them at about 445 and trying to turn that around for you at, at 545 here on Channel 2. So a lot to remember. Uh, they never ultimately reached that goal of winning the Stanley Cup, but they came very close to, to getting to the finals in those back-to-back -back trips to the conference finals, and that'll very much be remembered uh, here tonight. Kate? All right, Adam, work on your dance moves. We'll, we'll see you later. <laughs>